Right, today's going to be our last mild day before we bring in something far more November-like, shall we say, for tomorrow, for the weekend, most of next week as well. We're not going to reach the 70s today like we did yesterday, but most of us should reach uh, into the 60s. It's 53 currently up at Lookout Mountain. We have 65 down here uh, in downtown Denver with mostly sunny skies on top of us. A little different story in the high country. There's a little bit of wind up there. There's also some cloud cover, but unfortunately not much moisture as we were talking about earlier. We really need it considering our drought situation, which is now the worst it's been in 18 years. 50 degrees is our normal high temperature this time of year. Of course, we've been warm all week. 68 on Monday, tied a record on Tuesday with 76. Yesterday, we were just four away from the record of 78 set in 2008. Topped out at 74 officially yesterday. Again, today we drop a little bit. We'll be more in the 60s for the vast majority of us. And then tomorrow, a sharper drop, 48 for the high. So a little below normal for tomorrow. Obviously, you're going to really notice the change. Some spots in southern Colorado will reach back well into the 70s today. We could flirt with 80 in a few spots in the southern part of the state. Again, 60s for us here along the Front Range Urban Corridor all the way down to the Springs and up into northeast Colorado. And then we'll see 40s and 50s for high temperatures in the mountains. That's basically where we've been all day. Early this morning, Vail and Aspen were warmer than we were here in Denver. And we'll see 60s for highs on the western slope. Here's the map for tomorrow. You can see the cooler air settling in behind a cold front that will arrive tonight. Highs only in the 40s for Metro Denver tomorrow. 40s for most mountain towns for Friday as well. So I mentioned those clouds in northern Colorado, uh, northern mountains, I should say, uh, north of I-70. We've had a little bit of light snow from the uh, east side of North Park into um, portions of Rocky Mountain National Park. Had a couple snowflakes up near uh, Red Feather Lakes and Rabbit Ears Pass, but it just has not been much. Uh, we have this little disturbance right here. See that line that goes from around Laramie over into northern Utah? That is where the front is, and that should be producing a little bit of light snow, but there's such little moisture available that the front just can't do that very effectively at all. So the front goes through tonight. should be through the Denver area by 730 tomorrow morning, and then it makes its way into the Midwest. Look at all the moisture it'll find there. There. Well, as we get into the weekend, lots of rain from Chicago down to Dallas, but unfortunately, we can't tap into any of that moisture. So we're going to be mainly dry here, especially on Sunday. The whole state should be sunny on Sunday. Tomorrow night into Saturday, we will get some snow in the mountains, and it's possible above about 9,500 feet, we could get one to four inches of accumulation along portions of the I-70 mountain corridor from above Georgetown all the way over into Eagle County, up toward Rabbit Ears and Berthoud Passes. And then down in the San Juans, it's possible we could end up with a little bit of accumulation down there as well. But little is the key word here. It's not going to be anything like the storm last weekend. This storm has really fizzled out as it's moved closer to Colorado. And I'm afraid here in Metro Denver, there's only a 20% chance for an isolated rain or snow shower on Saturday. Again, cool. Highs only in the 40s. Back up to around 50 on Sunday. Sunday. And then here's next week, McKinsey. 50s for Monday, Tuesday, 60s if you're traveling on Wednesday, and then Thursday, 53 for Thanksgiving. The only chance for moisture right now next week looks to be on Tuesday, maybe a few flurries in the morning. Broncos and Dolphins Sunday afternoon kick off 205, the game right here on CBS4. Looks like it'll be cool, but it should be sunny for that game on Sunday. What about 5,000 fans, I think, in the stands? Yes, that sounds about right. So they'll have some nice weather to enjoy that game.